apologies for the uh, strange camera angle at the start of this vlog. Um, we're going to a two-day festival. It's a road, rail and ale festival at a place called Statfold Barn Railway. I've got an old Uston Allegro car, which we're showing at the show, and Heather is following behind in the van. I just wanted to do this intro um, while I'm driving, just to let you know, if you haven't seen on Twitter and on the community post on the YouTube channel, Millie the Labrador uh, passed away earlier this week. So, just so you know, if, if we get a bit upset in the video or whatever, um, that's why. And also, she still appears in some of the old videos that are scheduled to be released, such as the rest of the Scotland trip. So, yeah. We'll try and keep it a bit upbeat, but just to keep you in the loop, that's what's happened, and that's why we're not doing the normal intro in the van as we're driving along. So we'll catch you later on in the vlog. Ta-da! Right, apologies for the mobile phone footage. I'm not getting the camera out just for this. We've arrived. Got to move the car to the showground tomorrow, because obviously the show doesn't start till tomorrow. It's just a few of the... Uh, campers in the field waiting overnight obviously um, it's raining now so doubt we'll be going far tonight hence me not getting the camera out might be just a lazy night in the van Let's go for it. hello hello <laughs> hello <laughs> hello apparently apparently i sound like i'm answering, answering the, phone. the phone all right we are at statfold barn railway for the road rail and ale weekend and uh, as I said, we're camping over for the weekend. Just been and put the Allegro down in the car show part. We've had a little go on the train already. So yeah, Heather's going back to the van to do a bit of holiday research. Although she likes the car show, she's also likes a bit of chill out time, don't you? Yeah. So I'm sure she'll do a bit of filming on her own. We'll insert it here and there, but she will be on and off this vlog all weekend, won't you? Yes, of course. So there you go. Can't get rid of me that easy. That's what we're up to. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. all alone I've washed the pots made myself a lovely coffee look and I'm sitting out I'll turn the camera around in a minute and show you what Poppy's doing because Rick's gone off to the car she just won't settle because he's not here it, it makes you feel like he still makes you feel like Billy No Mates because she just don't want to know you and, uh, and she's not a daddy's girl at all. Anyway, I'll spin the camera around just so that you can see what's happening. That's the um, tannoy system with the bloke talking drivel in the background. Um, but there's there's loads of things to do for kids. Well, adults the same. There's um, traction engines that they can go on the back of. There's this, the steam that you'll see us on. Um, there's a little tram. There's the museum. And then, of course, there's all these, there's lorries and tractors and tractions and uh, traction engines and all the different cars and all this sort of thing. It's a fab weekend. Um, lots of things to do. And obviously, we're camping here. And, uh, and we are going to go down to the beer tent tonight and see what they've got on. Um, and, uh, and see if there's a bit of live music, because we think there's a bit of live music on as well. So we'll, we'll just see what goes on. I, uh, Rick probably chopped half of this out, but he told me to do some, so there you go. I'd show you her. That is that is her, and that that's that's the permanent picture I get from Poppy when Daddy's not here. <laughs> Just the back of her, <laughs> looking to see whether he's here. But anyway, here's the field that we're in. Um, lovely toilets. And they've got um, they've got showers in the toilets as well. They've got up at the up at the top here, right up at the top there. 
There's the Elsin Point, fresh water. They've got skips for your um, skips for your rubbish. So it's a lovely place to camp. I think if you know we were camping and we weren't exhibiting, it was twelve pound a night. So that's all right. And there is some um, electric points somewhere. I don't know where, but there is some electric points somewhere. So, like you say, um, what's the matter, Pop? What's the matter? Oh, oh, we're going to come and sit with us now. We're still going to look for Daddy, but we're going to come and sit with us. And she's just had a biscuit, but she wasn't really interested in it. She has eaten it, but while he's not here, that's what that's what I get all the time. So now you can see, Rick, what I get all the time from her when you're not here. Um, all right, I'm going to finish my coffee and uh, and have a look on my phone see what's see what's going on in the world and speak to you in a bit maybe hello right I'm gonna take you a walk round show you some of the stuff um, apologies in advance if the sound keeps dipping in and out the terrible thing about where we are they insist on having a tannoy system playing music and uh, I filmed here once a few years ago before we actually did the channel for my car channel and uh, got a copyright strike because music was playing so what I have to do is like this part now where I'm talking I've come miles away from the tannoy and then when I'm walking around I'll probably have to in the edit dip the vocals in and out you know if there's music playing and put some terrible music over it so that's just to let you know what's cracking on right oh so with it being a road rail and ale festival there's obviously all types of road equipment, including old classic tractors. Uh, won't bore you, I'm quite a, a car and vehicle bore, train bore, but won't bore you with that. But I do like a Nuffield, that's that orange one there. And then there is another one down there in the corner. Won't go too mad on these. You can see the cars in the middle there, then all the traction engines and stuff. Old lorries, old buses. And then the bar is down there with the white roof. I'll show you around and uh, we'll see if we can make some sort of vlog with this. Um, yeah, quite a nice little show. There's not as many cars here as there usually is. Unfortunately, because of the uncertainty with coronavirus, everything's been bumped to the end of the year and we were due another car show which we had to cancel because it fell on the same day as this one redated and we prefer this one but usually this field here where we are is absolutely rammed full of cars and we've got a quarter of what we've normally got which is a shame but it's still a nice weekend away it's cost us a fiver to camp for the weekend so can't fault it so yeah i'm going to show you some stuff don't know what the get up's about steampunk i guess If only you could smell the smells that I could smell. <laughs> Lovely smell of old coal burning. Good morning. Still morning. Still morning. Look at this. This is a all VW engine in it with an air cooling right, all that. Yeah, it's a horrible bit. It's a horrible bit. We always do. So as well as um, having the trains and stuff, the roundhouse is also open where they store all their engines. So this part's not normally open to the public. This is the actual guy who owns the place. This is his garden. 
and this is his little private railway that goes around his garden. It's all right for some, isn't it? So, but on open days like this, he opens his gardens up and uh, we, the plebs, are allowed to come in and have a nosy at uh, what it's like to have a few quid. <laughs> Here's the view from the other side then. That's not a bad garden to have, is it? You know, <laughs> if he wants a swap, I'll leave me number. Right, I'll start showing you some cars. We'll start with the best one here, obviously, because this one's mine. <laughs> Only joking. Shameless plug. So I'm in a car club called Burton Car Club. These are some of the cars from our club. Might look like a Ferrari, but it isn't. It's a kit car. And uh, I'll walk around these in a bit or over the weekend um, because this is Saturday as I'm filming this. It's a bit better on a Sunday to be honest, there's more cars here. But I'll just do a bit of random stuff, there's no order to this. The green one I'm going to, I'm filming this purely for my friend Paul at Live for Travel because it's clearly some sort of modern Renault and he's got something like this. Far too modern for me. Much prefer the Sherpa camper van there, look. Haven't seen one of them for a while, have you? And uh, then this Volkswagen T4 that's been Winnebago'd. You don't get many of them. Again, that's a big thing. That actually isn't here on show as such as it bought this little British Railways scooter thing. There you go. As I say, we'll have a look around this over the weekend. I'm just randomly walking back up. I'm gonna go and have some lunch now. Heather's back in the van. Uh, diverting to this lot. If you're not interested in cars, I apologize, but there we go, it's a Mark III Cortina. That was my first ever car, one of them. So that bloke's owned that since it was new. About that. Yeah, here we go. Catch her out. Chatting to the younger men, look. I've caught you chatting out with the younger men. That's what it is. Hello. Ah! <laughs> Hello.
Is that what you call a backy? Huh? Is that what you call a backy? <laughs> Uh, are we safe? Am I safe oh, here? I've done it before, I've done it before. <laughs> here we go. Saturday, Saturday evening, uh, the show is finished for the day. They've got a special train ride, exhibitors train ride. <laughs> and seeing as we're exhibiting, <laughs> we're Not on it. I'm tell you what. <laughs> yeah, we're on it, we're on it. And then we're going to the... Um, the beer tent afterwards. I've already had um, three. What are you doing? So, not me the dog. <laughs> yeah, I've already had three, so. Three? Oh, two bit. Oh, two, 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 two in the van and one in the beer tent. Ah, uh, so you'll get all giggly. Giggly later. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's what we're doing. I haven't had one yet. <laughs> no, well, so we picked the back. Oh, don't make me giggly. We picked the back carriage so we can film the view. The if the train damage. ever if the train ever goes, <laughs> apparently there's a delay. Anyway, that'll do for now. Goodbye, viewer. The smoke's changing colour just like it did in Back to the Future lot. <laughs> <laughs> a different coloured logs on. <laughs> We need to get to up to 88.8 miles an hour. That's it. Green one was first, then the Lella. Lella? Yeah. The Lella one. Right. Okay. Oh, you've missed it. Bad luck. So we stood at the back specifically so I can film the view. Specifically. Specifically, like the ocean. The specific ocean. It's very smoky here. And they're not using smokeless coal. Either that, or they are in fact electing a new Pope. We haven't decided. This is obviously a non-stop run job, this. Oh, full on! He's giving it some welly there, look. It's like the ending of Von Ryan's Express. What we need to do is lie Heather on the tracks and pretend she's dead. And she can be, um, what's his name, Frank Sinatra. And I could be Trevor Howard and I could go, Damn you, Ryan! You'll get your Iron Cross! Or whatever it is. What do you think? No. Nobody else knows what I'm on about, do they? It be the pearl. Not really. It's obviously uh, beached. Buy it. <laughs> it's, a train. it's not a train, it's a locomotive. The thing behind it is a train. Hello. Right, Sunday afternoon, we're just gonna go and fetch the car back from the display field. It's just about gonna start raining, I think. Uh, <laughs> got the brolly, just yeah, in case. Yeah, we've got the brolly just in case. All the van is packed up, ready to do a quick departure. And uh, that's it, really. Hopefully we've made some sort of video out of this. So you can see what we get up to when we don't just go camping. <laughs> um, I will put a link 
to the Allegro channel just in case anybody wants to see the cars because I did film walking around all the cars on there um, which I won't stick on this channel there may be a couple but I'll see what I do in the edit there's far too much footage I think for a short video so we <laughs> come on Ivor give us a tune we will catch you on the next one we'll be in Cornwall when you see this see you later bye bye, -bye. hello are you answering the phone? <laughs> right, it's definitely recorded. Here we hello. go. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so we are at Statfold Barn Farm. Statfold Barn Farm? Stat Statfold Barn, barn Railway. Railway. <laughs> yeah. Statfold Barn Railway. This is rubbish. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Just keep walking. It's rubbish. Anyway.